Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. In today's video, we are looking at some Walking Liberty silver half dollar coins that are worth some good money. So we'll show you what can give your coin some value and what these coins sold for at auction. So if you guys inherited a coin collection or maybe you're just now getting into coin collecting in general, then uh, definitely check out this whole video. All right, so as always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first with a 1946 Walking Liberty half dollar coin. So this coin is a very good conditioned coin. It's graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 plus, which means it's in very good condition. So the coin grading scale goes up to 70. 70 is the best condition you can get. This is at a 67 plus, and that's why this coin sold for $18,000. Now in 1946, you'll have some that will not sell for that much, and we're gonna show you guys the difference. Now here's a 1946 D mint mark that also sold for thousands of dollars. It's also graded at a mint state 67 plus. The other coin was the no mint mark. This is the D mint mark, so that mint mark will be there on the reverse of the coin. As we zoom in here, we can see that it's got some very nice, uh, you know, unique toning to the coin as well. And this coin sold for over $14,000 because of that high grade. Now, if you compare it to this coin, this coin looks like it's in good condition as well. And that's because it is. However, this coin is graded at a mint state 64. So the other coin was graded at a 67 plus. This is graded at a 64. So you can see how close they are in grades and how big of a difference it's going to make because this coin only sold for around $38. So we go from over $10,000 to a $38 coin just because it's three grades lower and it's the 67 plus. So keep that in mind. It depends on how many of these coins are graded at a specific grade. If there's not many graded at a mint state 67 plus, then that's where the value comes in at. Now, if there's tons of them graded at a mint state 64, which is probably the case here, then that's why they only sell for $38, you know, $40 range. Now, here is a 1946 that has a mint state 64 grade that sold for $780. So why did this coin sell for much more? Well, because it has a double die obverse. So there's doubling taking place on the front of the coin. And here's an example of what you can look for on your coins. So you can see the doubling here on the right side. Look for that doubling there as well as here on the cloth, the clothing uh, that the Walking Liberty is wearing. So you can see that doubling there at the bottom as well. So like I say, $780 for that coin. All right, now here's another uh, double die. However, this is doubling taking place on the reverse of the coin. This coin is graded at a mint state 66 plus, and this half dollar sold for over $9,000. So where do you look for doubling on the reverse of the coin? You want to look for that on the lettering, E Pluribus Unum, very, very visible doubling there. You can really see it there on all the lettering, uh, especially there on the U and the S there, B, I mean, really all the lettering, the M, the U, that's some nice doubling there. And also the feathers, you'll wanna look for that doubling on uh, the eagle there as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, here is another example. The last double die reverse sold for nine over $9,000. This coin here is graded at an AU58, and this coin has the double die reverse, and this half dollar sold for $545. So again, big difference there. We go from a mint state 66 plus to an AU58 grade. Uh, and you see the difference in value, over 9000 and then the $500 range. Uh, here's another example of one that is in very poor condition, I guess you could say. It's graded at a fine 15, so lower on the coin grading scale. It does have that double die reverse. However, it only sold for around 40 bucks. So big difference in values there based on the condition. Now in 1946, you have the no mint mark, the D mint mark, and the S mint mark. So for the no mint mark, they produced over 12.1 million of the those coins for the D mint mark just 2.5 million and the S mint mark 3.7 million. So for the year 1946, the D mint mark is the one that's more sought after because they produced less of those in comparison to the no mint mark and S mint mark. Now we looked at that 1946 high grade earlier that sold for over 18,000. This is at an AU58 grade and this coin only sold for $23. 
So keep in mind, big difference there in values. Uh, again, I, I know I keep uh, going back to it. The condition is so, so important. Now here's the 1946S Mintmark. Now this has a couple things going on. So it has a rim clip. You can see here on the reverse, uh, that minor, minor clip there on the rim uh, towards uh, the eagle's feathers there. And it also has a repunched S mint mark. So here's an example of what that repunched S mint mark looks like. You can look for those with your coin microscopes. I do have a, those available on couchcollectibles.com. You'll actually see the S there above the other S mint mark. Uh, so that is a repunched mint mark. Now this coin ended up selling for uh, just over $55. So not super valuable, but um, still a $50 coin. Now here is the 1946 S mint mark. Uh, this coin is graded at a mint state 67 plus. The S mint mark will be there on the reverse of the coin, just uh, like the D mint mark. And of course you have the no mint mark that has no mint mark there at all. So that's how you tell the difference between those if you guys are new to coins. This coin ended up selling for $11,000 because of its condition. If you compare that here to a 1946 S mint mark graded at a mint state 63, this coin only sold for a little over $40. So you go from a mint state 63 to a 67 plus and you have a huge gap in value. So $11,000 to $40. $40. So Keep that in mind, condition is key. All right, so this coin here is graded by ICG at a mint state 64, and this coin also has a repunched mint mark, RPM. Uh, this coin sold for around $60. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.